Well, hi, this is Chase Swift again, and in this video, I really want to cover uh, a review of some other photos uh, that someone submitted to me, and they were asking me, would these be good enough for iStock Photo? So we're going to look at some of the images on iStock Photo, and then uh, some photos were sent to me via Facebook. Now, I don't want to be overly critical, but I do want to give you the truth, and I think you'll be able to see that there is quite a difference. So we have some photos here. Uh, some of these involve water drops, which I love water drops, and I, I imagine you do too. They're, they're fun to look at. And we also have an interesting shot here. And then we have some roses. So I'm going to cover all these uh, in comparison with the iStock photo uh, images. So let's start with this water drops on the leaf. I'm going to go over to iStock photo. I'm going to type in water drops on leaf or leaves uh, let's just do that leaves okay so just right off the bat there's a, a big difference here we're looking at some very high quality very clean and very I mean look at this interesting they must have placed maybe this is glycerin but it's a stunning photograph of water drops even this one, we have water drops, and it's kind of light and airy so that someone could drop a product or uh, some text, okay? So many times, your image, the background is huge, huge. You have a great shot of a, a, a water drops here, but the background is killing this photograph. It's just cement or stone in the background. We have some more leaves here. It's great. I mean, it's okay on the leaves, but the background is 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 killing this image. Whereas, I mean, look at this image right here. Holy cow! Uh, this is a beautiful one. I mean, that's really taking this to a whole different level. And just the you notice how he got rid of the background with the white, okay? Or came in so close that the background went out of focus. Or, I mean, you can see, I think clearly, that there is a big difference between this image and then the images that we have here on iStock Photo. So, I just encourage you, if you think you have some good images, great. I mean, look at that. That is amazing. Okay? That's incredible. I don't even know how they did that. Okay? But as you go through here, there's some great shots of drops on leaves. Okay, um, but they uh, have better backgrounds than that. So let's just say that these are pretty weak. Um, these stalks are torn. Maybe there was a storm, and I understand that. But we have big sky. We have a lot going on, and then we have our drops here. So I think you got to get much closer. And even then, the quality of these leaves are kind of torn and ragged and I don't I just don't know okay now this image here really quite hard to tell what's going on I understand it's very interesting the moss but this says nothing to me okay so I just I don't even know where to go on here we have to have a point of focus and I realize it's right here but you know if there were a diamond ring right here someone may have lost something maybe there's a concept of loss or if there was a coin here, I don't know. There, but we're focused in on, on really nothing. And this is out of focus. And it's right in the line of focus. And it's just something's not, it's not, it's not well done. Okay. Our last one are some images of roses. Uh, it's sharp. It's in focus. The rose is a little bit old or... I don't know, maybe it's, you know, it's just getting a little bit wilted on the edge here. Um, the inside, I don't know, it looks okay, but it's with a flash. And um, flash does not make things flattering. It looks harsh. It looks like it's in the middle of the night. I'm not sure why we, I mean, literally, you have to think, why are we looking at roses in the middle of the night? Also, this rose, these roses, they're at the top and the bottom and then, a lot of boring right in in the in in the middle, and again we're looking at um, 
some stone walkway very bad the background is is killer bad it's just it's not good at all okay so if we go over to iStock photo let's try again uh, roses okay and let's just do roses and right off the bat I mean look at the beauty these each one of these roses is perfect okay now I understand you know you're not going to always find that but these photographers went to great detail to list you know to to lay out and 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 light and or organize and arrange even this is an outdoor shot and it's it, it's fading off into the um, darkness here a little bit and it's out of focus I would call this okay but these images up here are stunning beautiful I mean this one is right this one could have been outdoors but it it just the roses the bouquets are close together now let's go down here a little more um, this is very nice and a lot of these images, you're going to see room for text, for placement of text or images. Um, this one is really nice, and it fades off into a, a light pink background. Um, very, very nice. I really like this, where we have um, kind of a, a diagonal effect. And each one of these is roses is really, really nice. So you can see the difference, and even these outdoors, he's got a really good rose, and then we don't have a whole lot of sky or anything like that, and there's out of focus. I would like to see this a lot more out of focus, a lot more, because it's hard to put text or an, an image in the background. This is stunning. This is beautiful. Uh, very well done. Lots of room for text. People will use your images for text and or location of a, 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 an important product or something like that. Uh, these are beautiful. Isn't that nice? Uh, and then you get some nice arrangements here because, again, people will place images or text in the center. So when you look at these, you're like, my goodness, these are awesome. And they're just very well done. When you go back here, you're like, there's no way. There is no way that, in comparison, if this image were with all these other images, there's just no way. The quality is so high, even on this. Um, if we zoom in on that, um, we got great. Um, we can even zoom in more too, by the way. Um, great, you know, focus here, and then nice blurry. Really, remember that earlier images I wanted to see blurry. This goes really blurry, really fast, so that someone can have a title, a magazine, uh, bullet points, text, images, something dropped in on this image. Because they're going to try and sell something. And so they're going to use your image to do that. So this, in a way, gives you, I think, a very clear distinction between what is really good imagery. Uh, and so the competition is fierce. Yes, absolutely. Uh, you really have to have your game on. You've got to be, you know, you've got to look at this and say, what can I do much better, much better? And so you got to look at your backgrounds. The background is crucial. You cannot have, you know, a black background like it's at middle of the night um, because of the flash. And you certainly can't have stone walkways that are wet on this side. This is very dark, so your eye goes there. And then you're just you're like what are we looking at are we looking you know at roses of course but they're right at the end of the spectrum here are the frame so really uh, challenging so I hope that you uh, got some good education about understanding what you know you think is good I mean obviously the photographer would love the water drops that's great but it's not even close we gotta have a point of focus we can't be shooting things where it looks like it's at night because of flash and flash is very harsh makes harsh shadows and really everything about a rose is soft there are soft shadows there are not hard shadows anywhere it's all soft goes off into uh, different focuses there's a good arrangement there's it's very soft and delicate 
here, right here, very soft and delicate. Throughout all these images, they're very soft and delicate. When I go back here, it's harsh. It's boom. We got shadows. It's rough. It's cut. It's it's just hard. Okay. So those are kind of the reasons why I'm I'm telling you the truth, but you're also seeing it with your eyes as well. You can see there's a big difference. So uh, best of luck with you um, trying and doing your best. And looking at what is here, and there's tons of images you could look, you know, if you got flowers or rose petals. I mean, just look at the complexity and the detail and the, just the beauty of these images. And that's what it takes. That is what it takes. But you get uh, images like this, um, you will do well. Okay, these images are they will do well and they're placed on the first page there are many more but these first page images are the top sellers you know that just because of where they are okay and uh, back to the water drops the water drops is I mean there's incredible detail and beauty and simplicity and look at the background look at the background okay so the background is huge in all of these, and you've got to nail down your background. Actually, this one, I'm not so certain that it's as good because these are sharper and better than this, okay? I, that's my preference. I mean, I'm kind of getting it, but this one's out of focus. Why? I don't know. The photographer is just shooting focus on one and let the other ones go, and there's only one in focus. There are some really much better images here. So anyway, um, those are my thoughts and ideas. If you're going to do water drops, uh, look at the competition. I mean, it's just, that's, that's a leap. That is just beautiful. That's amazing. And here we go. This is awesome. Again, I'm, the background is not so great. I, I'll be honest. I don't like this one as much. Do you? I don't. I like when it, the background is really out of focus so we can focus in on the water drops. Purity and cleanliness and just fresh. That's what this is, the concept is all about. And um, not so wild about that, but, um, you know, things like this, much better. We got one drop, fades off into out of focus. One drop, we got one drop, fades into a nice background. Simple, nicely done. Beautiful, amazing. I don't even know how they do that. So um, these, I mean, this, that is stunning. That is really cool. So if someone, that's that's going to grab someone's attention. And they'll use that photograph over and over and over and over and over again. So hope this helps. Um, and just come into iStock Photo and just go to Photos and type in what you're, what you're photographing and look at the competition. I think you'll see that you got to be on your game. You have to have some really good photographs. And a lot of times it's the background that makes your photograph. This is Chase Whip. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, give me a like. And if you're open to earning uh, income in another way, passive, without doing anything, please look at the link in the description of this video. Or there may be a video floating on top of this uh, video at the end. And you can find out more information about how I make significant money, thousands of dollars, every day even. It'll build up to that. So I don't want to overpromise and overhype this, but I am a photographer, but I also make money online. So I encourage you to look at that. Have a great day. Bye for now.